Happy Friday, everyone. We have all had more than our share of bad days, crappy days, whatever you want to call them, and they can really wear on one's uh, heart and mind. Um, you've probably had a few in the last few months if you're a reverse mortgage originator watching this, but nevertheless, I really began to ponder the question is, what are some of the things that I can do, that we can do, so we can actually have a better day? And a lot of it is intentional. It's by design. Uh, good days sometimes happen accidentally, just falls into place. But you find individuals that are having consistent record of good days. And what you're gonna find is that they have some practices and some habits that they have built over time that have really put them in a position to have a better day. Or if they have a bad day, they can bounce back the next day and be improved. So what are some of the practical things that we can do? And that's really what we're gonna look at today. One of the first things that I like to do is to start the night before to have a better day tomorrow. And how do you do that? One is I pack anything that I need for work or for the gym the night before. I don't have to stress about it. I don't have to be running around like a chicken with my head cut off. So if I have all that prepared and laid out, my briefcase, all of my papers, whatever needs to be done, gym bag, whatever it might be for you, and you're all prepared when you wake up in the morning, that's one less stress in your life. The other is to look at your schedule before you leave the office, or you can do it at home if you wish, and see what's coming up the next day. The other is get to bed earlier. It doesn't seem real fun um, or exciting, but getting to bed at a decent time pays off so many dividends for us. It helps us with our health. It actually encourages weight loss. It helps your body repair, and your mind's gonna be that much fresher. And the other, is to begin your day with a time of intentional reflection and gratitude, meditation or prayer, whatever practice that you wish. It could be for three minutes, it could be for five minutes, it could be for 30 minutes, whatever your schedule is. Make time for that because gratitude is a natural disinfectant for negativity. And if you're someone who's dedicated to fitness or that is your resolution, your New Year's resolution, I would encourage you to adjust your schedule or you can work out in the morning. The reason is, is that your clients or your prospective borrowers are going to get the best of you because your mind is going to be that much more sharp. You're going to be less prone to get stressed out and bent over situations. You're going to have more confidence mentally just by simply working out in the morning. So those are just of a few ways that you can have a good day or at least increase your odds because good days might happen by accident, but I'll tell you what, those who have a streak of good days, they're doing certain intentional practices that position them to have that kind of day. Have a happy weekend and we'll see you next Friday.